put put me in my place a little bit, all right? Average Joe, you guys, former icons in the world of professional wrestling and, and you know, stars, right? People know you guys. Everybody knows you guys. Right. When I see people in general, but, you know, famous people putting GoFundMe pages, I go, man, don't these guys know enough people that have enough money that could help them out? Am I? And look, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but straighten me up. Dude, I know what the fuck you're saying because there's 50 people that go, hey, you know what? Here's 250 grand. Like, it's a fucking, you're wiping your ass with it. Could say to knobs and do that. That are, or supposedly our friends that could go, here, here's 200 grand. Right. You're hurting. Right. Not, to, not here's 150 or 50, you know, some of the dudes, uh, 50, here's 1,500 bucks, but they, they, there's some people we know that could do that, like nothing. Yeah. And it'd be like, a, a, like, a, like us, us taking a 10 out, out of our wallet to them. And these, and these are your supposed friends. Exactly. But yeah. you know what their best friend is? The fucking money. Mm. And they don't want to part with it or have anybody or, else spend or, it. You know, I don't want to ask anybody for money. So my, my friend did that for me. But when you are when you're on your fucking GoFundMe, you are I, asking and people and for and money. But I, I didn't want to do it. So he said, I'm going to do it for you as a friend. And it did actually help me out with my bills and everything because I was out of work. I get it. And, and, you know, I didn't make, you know, we made money in our time, but we haven't been under contract for a long time. And when you're not under contract, you're on the independence, you know, Independence ain't like you're on a, on a contract and getting a check every two weeks. These independent guys, uh, sometimes they cancel at the last minute. And, you know, you, you're, you're waiting for that money bill, to yeah. pay your well, bills well, and stuff just, like just that. And all of a sudden, boom. Think, oh, sorry. I, 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 I just promoted you for three months, but we can't bring you up now. Well, you use our, our thing, you know, so what are you going to do? Try to sue the guy. It'd be more money to try to sue the guy to get your, your money from him. Than you know anything else, so you you get screwed. So, but you but know. the thing is, it ain't e- what about not even friends, but the, the the companies we worked for, we didn't. I'm not gonna, everybody. WWE comes up because it's the biggest, mm. and, and it, the, the name on top of that is always Vince McMahon, so he gets picked on, or Vince McMahon this, Vince McMahon that. But the big companies that you work for, what about the guys? Say your Hall of Famers, or somebody is down and out, but when. When you're, you have a company that makes uh, a half a billion a year profit or something like that, or anything, we're, help a motherfucker out. You made like, their you know company. What I mean? You I, were I, what they needed to I have mean, a show. We, when we did work there, we, it was the greatest thing to do at the time, and, 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 and you had to be there. If you wanted to, to make it to, to that level was to make it to the Yankees, yeah. But are you ever taken care of? Yeah. You know the, the independent contractor agreement from uh, paying your own taxes, paying your own insurance, paying your own rent cars, your own yeah, motels, your own hotel, every everything. fucking thing. But, I'm, I I'm mean, not, but what not... about when one of the guys that w- that was there? What what would it be to? G- Here's a check for a hundred grand. It's okay. like, like like I said, it could be, that's like wipe you wipe your ass with. But that, but the know? average the average Joe, and I'm not trying to be argumentative. I'm an average Joe. If I get fired from my job or I leave my job, I lose yeah. my medical, and right. guess what? Right. I have like I've had two open heart surgeries, right? Yeah. No one's helping me. Yeah. My boss ain't coming to my rescue to say, "Hey, yeah. here's a hundred no, grand for that." There. You know? Yeah. So again, it's not. I'm not trying to be insulting, right? I, no. What I'm trying to what I'm trying to say. Basically, you got to take care of your fucking self. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Exactly. Bottom line, you're yeah. out on yeah. your own. Hey, you're on your own, motherfucker. And That's I, it. I actually thank my friend for doing it. I said, hey, man, I didn't want nobody to do it because I'm not one to ask for money like that. That's not me. That's not the way I was brought up. But he did it for me, and it did help me get through the times when I had no money coming in at all, and I was in this rehab and almost died four different times. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I was, I, my, my health situation there was, was kind of funky there for the last four years or so, and now I still need a knee replacement on my right. And a mini replacement on my shoulder, but I'm so sick of being in the hospitals. I'm living through the pain again, and I'm just doing what I have to do right now because I know each one takes a rehab of at least four months. I don't care what anybody says, and the shoulder, same thing, until you're right again, until you can go out and, you know, 
do things. So, you know, it is what it is. So you just got to keep on going. That's what I'm doing right now. And by the way, I'm glad your friend did help you out because I'm glad you, you know. Yeah. I had met you before. I don't know you personally, yeah. right? But you, you, both of you gentlemen are very yeah. nice guys from what I know. Oh, you're a goddamn hoot. I loved it. And hanging on, out with you guys. <laughs> and on the other side of that realm, think of this. Say you have all these friends that got bucks or the big companies, right, that you work for. Once they open the door for one guy, now where does that penny stop? When there's like 60 guys, that, you know, right. or you have 50 friends. It's like, how much more the, money can I give right, out before right, I go? Now for here's it. all my savings to help. You but know, you guys you know, made, I mean, there where does is that no stop? wrestling I mean, business without so the wrestlers. So what the fuck do you do? What do you do? I mean, I'm not, not going to lie. We came up in a different time in the business. It ain't like it is some, now. We weren't, we weren't, you know, we don't I have that. I'll tell you, it, nobody's business, but, you know, some personal friends of mine that are very famous did help me. I'm sure they did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they That's did. Good. But you can't just keep on going back and asking them, you know, after they already helped you out a couple times. You know, I'm not like that. And I didn't even want to do it the first time. But they offered. So, yes, I did. Personal friends of mine that everybody knows I might know did help me out. A lot of different times. So, you know, but then again, you don't always want to go, you know, you go back to them again. It's like, what, what you know, I can't just keep going back to, you know, when they already helped me out. So, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad my friend did that for me because it helped me through the rough times. If not, I would have been, you know, really, because let's face it, if uh, we didn't make as much as uh, Tyson and he blew 300 million. So yeah. let's face it, we're, we, we made okay money at the time. But when you're, when you're off of that contract and you're on the independent circuit, it's a whole different ball game again, you know. Well, so. you got to give yourself kudos, too, that you were such a good friend to someone that they actually were like, yeah, I want to see you live. I'm going to, I'm going to do everything I got oh, yeah. to help you oh, out. Oh, yes. I mean, you know, just to have a friend like that is yeah. pretty important, right? And no shame oh, yeah. with asking for help, especially when it comes down to your health. Well, that's, you have Ric Flair come story. over and see you when you're in your rehab bed, and, and uh, hmm. he said he's going to put you on with somebody. And I think I didn't know if it was going to be Hulkster, one of his, you know, he so has no, no, so many celebrity friends. And when he turned it around, it was a naked girl telling me <laughs> to... Uh, hey, nasty boy, I can't wait. Get, get fast, get healthy fast, because I'll be waiting for you. And she was gorgeous, and I went, if that don't want to make you jump out of bed and get to training and get yourself back right again, nothing will. So thank you, Ric Flair. I appreciate that. The motivation you needed. Yeah, and I, I told that during the he, he, his, he, he, ro he, with, with his roast, and he was like, like don't tell that. Story. I said, well, oh, you're still married to Wendy? I didn't, I don't know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but it was a good time, you know, so. But here's a tough question for you, right? At some point when you, you were ill, were you, you know, blaming yourself, put, for putting yourself into that situation? No. Uh, well, it was, it was the years of what I did. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. Can you kidding me? Shit, you know, we we party like rock stars, so, you know, it all comes up and bites you in the ass. So, you got, you know, you live in you the learn. dark, always you sooner or later comes out the light. Now, <laughs> you know, I calm down and, you know, and, um, you know, I'm not supposed to be drinking no more, but I do drink some beer now and again. I shouldn't be doing that, but, you know, sometimes old habits are hard to break, but that's about it, man. I don't do no shots no more, no, no, nothing like that. So, no so other, or I do, uh, the CBD and the and the gummies and stuff right. like that. You know what I mean? Which is, you know, so, Willie, Nelson, Jerry, as Willie be, Nelson taught me that. Long this time is your ago. brother who has survived. Thank God. Yeah. Do you get pissed off and go, bro? Enough with the drinking. Don't drink anymore. Dude, enough. Yeah. You don't yeah. know. We know. So I know him since he's ten, but I just told him today again. Now, do you really need that fucking wicked your the, the thing? He goes, Are you my goddamn dad? <laughs> and uh, this has gone on for years now. I'm like, Do you have to have that? You're not supposed to be drinking. He's like, I'm a fucking nursemaid or a mother goose or something. He streams uh, just, because, at yeah, just because he's not drinking no more because he made an ass out of himself. So, well, you know, I, I hey, stopped drinking. Everybody's got their limit. But in mine, you know, I was tired of acting the fool. And I was tired of waking up being hungover for the last 40 years and said, fuck it. And haven't drank a drop in since for two years. But nobody you know, says he, he was stop acting like a fool, though. I was, was saying he was drinking Diet Coke and he was still but, acting a fool. I love yeah, that. Right, right, right. <laughs> but he was on his deathbed and the doctor said, you drink, you die because it's his liver. Right. So, but he don't stop. 
he goes back and drinks. So that's I was him. good there for seven months, so I'm drinking a little bit now, but I watch myself. I monitor myself. I know what I know if I'm doing wrong, you know, so I just watch myself. That's all you gotta do, man. You know you He watches you himself can't. as it's going he's going like this. I mean <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you you do understand what a treasure you are to the wrestling community, right? Yeah, I right? do. And so, and, and, like, and, so aren't you like kind of disrespecting the fans a little bit, right? Because they ooh, they love you, right? You no, disrespect not at all. Fat ass. Not at all. Yes, you, know, you sometimes are. Sometimes you gotta just do you're your thing. Because look at, you're look drinking at, like a pig. <laughs> you know, <laughs> look at look at Rick. I gave him like like a five percent chance to live. Yeah. You know, and he's back. Drinking some Honestly, beers again and stuff I like don't that. know how. Listen, and I was at I was at the we and him were at the last match. I thought Rick was going to go down one or two times in there. I was real. I swear to God, I thought it, his life is over. Right. And I cannot believe the man, the way he's rolling right now, is still walking on the face of the earth. He's gonna. He's 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 he's, he's the nature boy. He's still lim, limousine driving, Learjet flying, and drinking. Like a motherfucker, I can't believe it. After all this stuff, and that motherfucker <laughs> keeps going. I don't know but how he he's loves doing. The fans. He's out there doing his I, thing I, for I the fans. I don't know how. I sure do not. I'm amazed that he's. Yeah. How is he? Is he, is he like a? Did they transport him from another planet or something? I don't he's fucking a, know. He's a Terminator. He's a Terminator yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the nature boy, man. He's a nature. He's a nature but that's what happens. He's still, he lives in Tampa, so it's hard. Right. It's oh, hard to not be tempted. When you hear all of a sudden, you're somewhere and you hear, woo, I go, oh, fuck, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> we had enough. We had crazy times with that motherfucker. And the guy, I'll tell you what, he risked his life. And if he made $5 million, the nature boy was spending $8 million. And the, li the life he lived was for everyone underneath him made look better in the wrestling business because everybody that saw him up there in that stage, what he was talking about, the way he was living and the way he portrayed himself and really does portray himself all over the country and world in the bars and with the women. It's the truth. That's the nature boy. And it just, that reflects on the rest of us. You know what I mean? That, that makes everybody, brings everybody up in that star, that limelight. At so Rick's, he gave his life for the business. At, at, as Rick's 70th birthday, he gets drunk with uh, Jeff Hardy at the time. This was oh. four years ago. Whew. That's so why I was they, on the they, they I was come, on the whiskey. They come up to me on the and bourbon. they said, "We got this great angle. <laughs> the Hardy Boys against the Nasty was never done. They're gonna take it to Vince." Da, da, da. And I looked inside. I go, "And who's wrestling for me?" He goes, "You are." I said, "I can't even fucking walk." <laughs> How the fuck am I gonna get in the ring and wrestle the Hardy? I ain't going back Listen, in the ring if I can't wrestle. Rick Flair's right? birthday party. Me, Fit Finley, and Jeff Hardy are going like this, looking and staring at the wall. It was a, a wall of the best bourbons in the world, and we drank every fucking one of them. Good God. We were